Hello everyone. I am Tarun Kasik and today in this lecture we are doing the part 2 of our 2017 solution and today we will be discussing one question only one single question of analytical geometry uh, of 2017 mains paper of mathematics since uh, we have not covered this topic in our past 10 videos of analytical geometry that's why uh, i first i will first uh, in this lecture first i will cover that portion which we have not covered and uh, after that we will take a look about the question which was asked by the upsc in 2017 now the question was the reduction of the second degree equation to the standard form so uh, in this you will be given a second degree of a function like in this form let us suppose there is a function f that uh, in this form of x y z and the equation is like this ax square plus by square plus cg square plus 2 fyz and that 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 okay so you will be given this this type of equation and you are required to uh, redu reduce it to a standard form so how to proceed in such type of question so i will uh, not go in very much detail i will just tell you the basic that how you have to Uh, solve this type of question first of all you have to identify the coefficient this this coefficient the coefficient of x square y square g square the coefficient of yg the coefficient of gx the coefficient of xy the coefficient of x y g and the constant term that is d okay so you identify these terms a b c f g h u v w and d now you have to make a discriminating cube what is this dis what is this discriminating cube q why we are saying it cube because uh, we are uh, you can say that reducing lambda from the principal diagonal that is uh, a minus lambda b minus lambda and c minus lambda and after calculating the determinant and putting it equals to 0 we get a cubic equation in the terms of lambda so this uh, lambda cube denotes that we will get the three values of lambda so that's why we are saying it is it's a cubic equation okay and uh, after finding these values that is suppose lambda 1 lambda 2 and lambda 3 so uh, you you have to proceed or, or you can say that you have to find out these values of lambda so how to uh, you can say calculate very quickly so th 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 so this is the formula which you have to remember okay just lambda cube minus lambda square into the summation of these a b c that is the coefficient of x square y square and g square plus lambda square into uh, we are done with this plus lambda into b c that is b c c a a b okay and after that just reduce this f square g square and h square so you have to remember just how to how to write uh, this discriminating cube just write down a b c and subtract lambda from this diagonal element now in this standard form i am showing you again so as you can see in this standard form that is f g and h so in so it is going in the alphabetical order that is f g and h so you have to rewrite like f g h okay like this form f g h so it is a symmetric matrix here it is f here it is sorry uh, i wrote it by mistake it will be f here okay this is g this is g this is h this is h this will be f okay i may made a mistake here this is f okay <coughs> now uh, after doing that we are done with this part so calculate the value of lambda now we will study some cases these values of lambda can be anything okay it can be a non zero value it can be a zero value or it can be the uh, equal values or maybe different value one value is equal to zero other two may be different so we will be studying these type of Uh, cases now the first case these three values are non zero and these are all are different for example lambda is equals to lambda 1 equals to minus 2 lambda 2 is equals to plus 3 and that is equals to 4 all these are non zero but and also these are different to each other so and in this case what you have to do just do the partial differential uh, partial partial differentiation of x with uh, sorry partial differentiation of uh, f with respect to x partial differentiation of uh, f with respect to y and with respect to g put them equals to 0 from there you will get the three variable equation uh, three equation in three variables that is x y g when you have the three equation in three variables calculate the value of x y g it can be alpha, so i am assuming that these are alpha beta and gamma okay and this will be the center of that conicoid because what we are doing 
इनडायरेक्टली हमें तो वही करना है ना हमें तो जिस दो भी सेकंड ऑर्डर की जो डिफरेंस इक्वेशन जो भी इक्वेशन गिव दी हुई थी सेकंड ऑर्डर की वी हैव टू रेड्यूस दैट टू ए स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म एंड व्हाट कैन बी दैट स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म दैट कैन बी एनी कॉनिकोइड मे बी एलिप्सोइड मे बी कॉन मे बी पैराबोलोइड मे बी एलिप्टिकल पैराबोलोइड मे बी हाइपरबोलिक पैराबोलोइड दैट कैन बी एनीथिंग ओके सो वट वी हैव टू डू एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट दैट स्टैंडर्ड इक्वेशन फॉर दैट वट द फर्स्ट स्टेप वॉज दैट मे ए क्यूबिक डिस्क्रिमिनेट टिंग क्यूब कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ लैमडा यू विल गेट थ्री वैल्यू ऑफ लैमडा आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू सी वेदर दीज वैल्यूज आर नॉन जीरो और जीरो दिस दीज आर नॉन जीरो यू यू जस्ट कैलकुलेट द डिफ्रेंसिएशन ऑफ दिस एफ विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स वाई जी पुट दैम इक्वल्स टू जीरो एंड आफ्टर दैट यू विल गेट द थ्री इक्वेशन इन थ्री वेरिएबल्स एंड दिस वेरिएबल्स आई एम अज्यूमिंग दैट एक्स वाई जी इज माई सेंटर और एल्फा बीटा गावा अज्यूम एल्फा एक्स बिलोंग्स टू एक्स इज एल्फा वाई इज बीटा एंड जी इज गामा सो आई गेट दिस थ्री वैल्यू एल्फा बीटा गामा दिस इज माई एक्स वाई जी वैल्यू एंड आई एम कॉलिंग इट एज ए माई सेंटर ऑफ दैट कॉनिकोइड दैट कैन बी एनी थिंग नाउ After that you have to calculate the d dash. There is a constant called d dash. Then that can be calculated by u into alpha plus v into beta plus w into gamma plus that constant d, which we have seen in the standard equation. Okay, calculate that d. After that our required equation will be just lambda one x square lambda two y square plus lambda three into g square plus d dash equals to zero. So this will be our standard equation, and we have reduced that. सो so, अब जो ये इक्वेशन बन के आई है अब ये लिप्सोइड की है किसकी है जो हम लास्ट स्लाइड होगी इस वीडियो की उसके अंदर हम बात करेंगे कि अब हम कैसे डिसाइड करेंगे दैट दिस इज ए एलिप्सोइड और इट इज़ ए कॉन और इट इज़ वट वट इट इज़ एक्चुअली ओके सो न नेक्स्ट इज इफ वन वैल्यू ऑफ लैमडा इज जीरो एंड अदर टू वैल्यूज आर डिफरेंट ओके नाउ इन दिस केस वट वी विल डू वैन सिंस द वैल्यू ऑफ लैमडा इज जीरो and uh, this is our discriminating cube if i put this lambda equals to 0 so this, so it becomes abc isn't it this will become abc so this is abc okay in sorry this is abc like in this diagonal form this is h this is g so i can make a matrix like this this is a this is um, i'm removing it this is a this is h this is g so this correspond to l this correspond to m this correspond to n x y g okay l is the Uh, i am assuming that a line that is uh, that having the direction ratio l m n okay so the equation this equation can be uh, re uh, rewritten like that a l plus h m plus g n uh, g this is n okay so what you have to do when when one value of lambda is zero just make this this equation a l h m g n h n h l b m f n and solve any two equation these two or these two or first or last solve these two equation to find out the value of lmn when you uh, i have put a dash so when you have the value of lmn so what you have to do after that you have to calculate a constant called k and that can be calculated like ul plus vm plus wn so now you have to see the difference in these two i am making a um, now you see i'm making it uh, a difference in the, in this form now when you have the value of lambda equals to 0 and when we you have you don't have the lambda is not equals to 0 okay when lambda is equal to 0 and when lambda is not equal to 0 in this case in this case you have to calculate the lmn value and after that you have to multiply it with this this is vl sorry this is ul vm and wn to calculate the value of k and in this you have to calculate the value of df you have to differentiate it by x by y also by g also and when you do you get the three equation in three variables and solve that you get the value of x y g that will be the center and after that uh, after you getting the alpha beta gamma that is center value after that what you have to do you have to solve The for the d value that is what it what is u alpha v beta plus w into gamma plus d so there you will be calculating d dash and here you are calculating k and after calculating the value of k there can be two possibilities it can be zero it can be non zero value if it is zero we will re repeat the step first 
सिंस के जीरो सो के हमारा कोई जब के जीरो हो गया तो हमारा आगे सोल्व करने का मतलब ही नहीं है सो वी विल डू द स्टेप वन इफ इट कम्स एज ए नॉन जीरो सो अवर इक्वेशन विल बी दिस द स्टैंडर्ड दैट रिक्वायर्ड इक्वेशन इन दिस केस इफ के इज नॉन जीरो देन वी आर नॉट रिक्वायर्ड टू सोल्व दिस इक्वेशन लाइक डेल डेल एफ अपॉन डेल एक्स डेल एफ ऑन डेल एफ अपॉन डेल वाई डेल एफ एफ अपॉन डेल जेड वी आर नॉट रिक्वायर्ड टू सोल्व आउट दैट डिफ्रेंशिएशन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स वाई जी सो जस्ट जस्ट कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ के एंड पुट इन दिस इक्वेशन इफ इट कम्स आउट टू बी जीरो देन यू हैव टू रिपीट द स्टेप वन विच विच इज स्टेप वन दिस इज द स्टेप वन If it comes out to be zero, if the value of k comes out to be zero, then put this, and from there you will find that you just calculate any two value, okay, any two value, and from these two value you find the value of x, y, and g. Again, calculate d dash, and again you have to do like that, okay. If one value of lambda is zero, you have to do like that. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Okay, so now we will see the question which was asked in the UPSC this year. So we have to reduce the following equation to the standard form and determine its nature of the conicoid. कि अभी कौन सी conicoid है? Hyperbola, parabola, ellipsoid, what it is? So this is the equation. Okay, so the given conicoid is this, and we know that this this is the coefficient of a. This the this is b. This is c. So a b c is plus one. And this all these are equal f g h all these uh, all these are minus half because I have written two f g so f will be minus of that coefficient uh, that is the half of these coefficient okay this is minus one by two minus one by two minus one by two so f g h both uh, all these three are minus one by two this is u that is minus three by two this is <coughs> uh, v and this is w and this is the value of d okay so this is our discriminating cube. and uh, just put this value here back and after that i told you the formula uh, since it is uh, if if you are going to calculate it it will become very lengthy so instead of that just put the value in the formula this is lambda cube minus lambda square into a plus b plus c because we know that a and b and c all these three are equal to 1 so 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals to 3 so it is 3 plus lambda into this is a that is b c C A A C A B minus f square minus g square minus s square. This is one. This is one. This is one. So it one plus one plus one that is equal to three. This is one by two whole square. That comes out to be one by four minus one by four minus one by four. All these minus one by four comes out to be minus three by four. Okay, we are done. Next minus d and the value of d in that formula was like. Uh, Mm, a B C uh, minus that was two uh, F G H minus A F square minus B G square minus C S square. That was the value of D. So this is A B C. That is one one in one. That comes out to be one. So this is our one. <coughs> that F G H that comes out to minus eight because all these three are equal and two. So two two is a four. That comes out to be minus one by four, and that is a is one, b is one, c is one. So so one. So we can take it f square, g square, s square. So what is the value of f square, g square, s square? Minus three by four. So this is minus one by four and three by four equals to one. So this one and this min, uh, plus one and minus one get cancelled. So we are left with this equation only. So this is lambda cube minus three lambda square plus nine by lambda. Nine by nine by four lambda equals to zero. <coughs> Just take the four L calcium and do that. After solving that, you will get the, the three values: lambda equals to zero and lambda equals to three by two comma three by two. So two values are equal and one value is zero. So when we have the one value as zero, what we will do? We will put the value of lambda uh, equals to zero here and calculate the direction ratio corresponding to lambda equals to zero. So just use any two equation, either these two or last two. Or one or third. I what I have done. I have used these first two equation. So just put the value of a h g here. You get these two equation. After getting these two equation, just solve out for these. You can say, um, you know this type of division. <coughs> you get the three values of lambda, and the values are one one one. L M N comes out to be one one one. So now you have to calculate the value of k. 
when you calculated the value of k it comes out to be minus 8 when it is non zero then you have to then the reduced equation will be lambda 1 x square plus lambda 2 y square here lambda 1 and lambda 2 both are equal because both are 3 by 2 so this is 3 by 2 x square plus y square plus 2 k k is minus 8 so it comes out to be minus 3 minus 16 minus 16 plus g equals to 0 okay now we can take this 2 to this side so it becomes 3x square minus 32z equals to 0 so that will be our answer so this question was asked by the UPC in 2017 mains now we will be seeing that uh, what is the nature of this this is our required conicoid so how we can determine so for that we have to remember some standard formulas we will be seeing in this slide now as you can see if your answer comes out to be in this form then it will be ellipsoid so our answer is in which of these which of these form our answer was 3 by 2 into x square plus y square minus 32 g equals to 0 our formula our answer was like that or we can rewrite it again like in this form 3 by 2 into x square plus y square equals to 32 z okay so it is like what uh, is it like this so it is a elliptical paraboloid okay or no no it is not like that it is b and we have the common value so it is like that ninth that is paraboloid of revolution its nature is paraboloid of revolution okay so this is how you have to remember these just pause this video here and take a snapshot and do it again and remember it again <clears throat> and those who are new to this channel they can send uh, they can just directly click on this link so that they can join this whatsapp group these are the two whatsapp groups which are active this whatsapp group has already full so you can join in the second group and the link is this this link we will find in the description and you can also download the um, uh, this pdf in the this pdf as the link given below in the description okay so that's all for this video and thank you for watching it